delayed flights, lost baggage and customer satisfaction are at an all-time low. Liat's chief executive officer says 2007 was a very challenging year for the airline. But Mark Darby says Liat is determined to regain customer support. Liat finalized purchase agreements with rival Caribbean Star in October, with echoes across the region that this monopoly arrangement would not be in the best interest of Caribbean travelers. The CEO says the airline is putting in place a recovery plan aimed at eliminating cancellations and improving punctuality and customer service. The challenge now is to become... Uh, the carrier of choice in the Caribbean. Yeah, that is the carrier that people will want to get on, not just be, feel they're forced to get on. And that's the, the change that really needs to happen this year. Yeah, we need to become punctual, we need to be reliable, we need to be customer focused, and of course above all safe. Darby met with Tourism Minister Alan Chastney and his advisers on Friday. He says the meeting was positive and Liat will consider the minister's suggestions for improvement. Uh, the minister suggested, for example, that it, at times of high demand, uh, we should consider looking at uh, running some overnight flights. Uh, we have a limited number of aircraft that we can fly uh, in the daytime. Uh, he suggested why not look at running them overnight, so we'll have a look at that. We need to assess whether the demand is really there. Um, and also, if uh, he said that uh, uh, for some markets, uh, particularly to the south, to Trinidad, uh, there's a, a feeling that there's a shortage of capacity, certainly at certain times of the year. So, again, we'll have a look at that. The recent addition of an American Eagle flight to Barbados has brought competition to that route. The CEO says Liat has no objection to competition as long as there is a level playing field for all carriers. I'm happy if somebody else wants to come in and compete on, on, a level, on level terms and take some of the, the good with the bad. But uh, what will what make it very difficult for us if people just come and cherry pick those nice juicy bits and pieces and leave us with the difficult routes or the difficult times of the day. So, and, and, and if they do, then that's just going to throw the burden back on the rest of the, you know, our passengers because we have to recover. We, we don't have the option to go back to the governments for more money. Regional travellers have expressed concern about the rising cost of airline tickets. Darby says if regional governments reduce taxes, this will be reflected in the fears. St. Lucia's seat on Liat's board of directors has been vacant since October 2007. An appointment is expected shortly. Alison Kentish, HTS News, Channel 4.